Hello everyone. So something has come up. So we're going to be learning about copyright and fair use guidelines. Why? Because I am still under constant harassment by the Sussex squad. So uh, my YouTube channel is under attack because um, I used, I'm going to keep everybody nameless here, but because I used a certain interview that we all listened to on how screwed up these people are. And the person who quote unquote owns the interview and owns the copyright for it is trying to get my YouTube channel taken down. Now I filed a, like a, I guess it would be a rebuttal. So this person now has to sue me in order for the, her complaints to go through on YouTube. And she is more than welcome to do that. This is the hill I'm willing to die on, but she has no case in court. So she can file a frivolous lawsuit because I've got plenty of reasons to sue her also and her harassing of me. She also filed a complaint a pr invasion of privacy complaint against me because I used her anonymous Twitter account that's not even her real name in a few of my videos. Now this person that has filed a privacy invasion of privacy complaint against me is also the person who doxed me, harasses me, and released my mental health condition to everybody. So, but she filed a privacy complaint against me. So that's where we are. And all I have to, all I would have to do is just change the title and like a couple other things, but this is how ridiculous these people are. So in case you see this Pulitza units, uh, you can let our buddy know that she has no case. And I, and if I lose my YouTube channel, I don't fucking care. YouTube is not the only video streaming service on earth and I will continue to talk about what I'm going to talk about. I will continue to show all of you people's tactics. So do what you need to do. I don't care. So let's learn about fair use and copyright and why she can't do anything to me. I mean, she can, she can try and sue me. She's not going to win. Okay. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. And like I said, I've talked about suing her and I will because of the defamation she has done to me because she released my name and then, you know, I've been con uh, accused of trying to kill Meghan Markle and get her to kill herself. So, you know. Okay, so I used their their little um, Spaces interview, uh, you know, that we all listen to. So let me just read this quick explanation real quick. Fair use. Fair use is a provision in copyright law that allows some uses without permission, is very fact specific, considers both the work and the use, favors internal over external use. <clears throat> now, since I was a part of, they didn't list my, uh, you know, my name and everything, but I was part of the investigation that they were speaking of. So it has to do with me and the rest of us. So I guess you could say it was for educational purposes and the record, which it was for the record. The fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies or phone records or by any other means specified by that section. For purposes such as criticism, I criticized them. See, it wasn't like, I didn't just like, first of all, she has, it was like no like intellectual piece of work or an idea or anything. I never claimed it to be my own. I said where it came from. So yes, I criticized it. I commented. It is news because it's been in the news. So it is reporting of what's been in the news and has to do with me and everybody else. Teaching, I guess you could say that t teaching about what psychos they are. Scholarship or research. That's research, because we are researching what they're doing, is not an infringement of copyright. So that's a short, you know, that's the short of it. It's news reporting. It was in the news. I was definitely criticizing them. I was definitely commenting. Definitely has to do with me. So. 
So yeah, this is just the email that I got about her. Um, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. Well, that's not her real name, so I didn't invade her privacy like she invaded mine. I just think it's rich that... This is the Sussex Squad, folks. This is Meghan Markle's Sussex Squad. So all I would have to do is edit the what's not private information, uh, change the title, whatever. So what is fair use? Fair use promotes freedom of expression by permitting the unlicensed use of copyright protected works. Now, I don't know that her, she owns the copyright. I'm not sure that it's like protected work, but anyway, it doesn't matter. In certain circumstances, U.S. Copyright Office 2017C, there are no set guidelines that are universally accepted in making a fair use determination. So the court would have to do that. So go ahead and sue me. Courts weigh the following four factors when determining whether a use of copyrighted work without the copyright holder's permission is a fair use. The purpose and character of the use, well, is to expose them and to make our, our, um, a complaint answer to what they're saying because we're all being defamed and everything. So it was an answer to what they were talking about. The purpose and character of use, including whether such use is of a commercial nature. So she wasn't making any money off of that. And, you know, I can make money off of my YouTube channel. She, hers was not for commercial use or is nonprofit or is for nonprofit educational purposes. The nature of the copyrighted work. Well, they were just doing, they were just talking. It was an interview to discuss an investigation of which I have been a part of. The amount and, sus the amount and substan subs substan substantia the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. Well, I used the whole thing, but uh, I don't think that matters. The effect of the use upon the potential market for or value of the copyrighted work. Well, I don't think because she's not selling that Twitter interview, there was no effect on her market value or the value of the copyrighted work. There might have been an effect on, you know, people knowing what they're up to, but it was in the public. Like, you know, there wasn't a, that thing wasn't password protected. I didn't hack anybody's phone to get it, you know, blah, blah, blah. So there was no, there was no impact on its value. Didn't cause her to lose any money. Factor one, the purpose and character of the use. While using a copyrighted work for a nonprofit educational purpose is more likely to be found more likely to be found to be a fair use. It is important to note that not all educational uses are covered by fair use. Factor one focuses on whether a use is transformative. This factor asks if the new work does something more than repackage or republish the original copyrighted work, add something new, well, I definitely did that, with a further purpose or different character definitely did that, altering the original work with new expression, meaning, or message, did that. This factor assesses whether the new work serves a new and different function from the original work and is not a sub substitute for the original work. Check. Functions that may be considered transformative into include criticism, check, comments, check, news reporting, check, no scholarship, research, it is for research, or parody. Uh, I guess you could say that too. Check, check. To be transformative, the use must do more than merely recast the original work into a new mode of presentation. For example, recasting a novel as an ebook, it's not a novel, audiobook, or translation into another language is likely to be found to be a derivative work that is protected by copyright and not transformative use and would weigh against a finding of fair use. Didn't do anything. It didn't do anything of that. 
If an individual or entity simply uses a verbatim copy of the work or portion of the work, it is not likely to be considered fair use. Well, I didn't use anything verbatim. This is that is not intellectual property. Factor two, the nature of the copyrighted work. It was just a bunch of idiots talking and me pulling it apart and adding new arguments, etc. This factor focuses on whether the work is of a creative or, inst or instructive factual. Well, it wasn't creative. There's nothing they could, they just talked about stuff. So it was not creative. It was not instructive and it definitely was not factual because they lie and they have conspiracy theories and everything like that. Generally speaking, courts find that courts find that their greater need to dis, to distribute factual works, not factual, than fiction and thus provide more perfection protection for fictional works. Now, while they have a lot of fiction in there, it's not fictional works, it's talking. It's factual. That's what they do. Check, check. Factor three, the amount and sub substan sub sub substantial substantiality of the portion used. Now, I did use 100% of it. Factor three focuses on whether the use employs more of the copyrighted work than necessary. Well, I didn't go over anything that was necessary. All of it was necessary. 100% of it was necessary. And measures how much of the original work was copied. I didn't copy it. Generally speaking, the greater amount of the work, it wasn't work, is used, the less likely it will be considered fair use. Previously, courts endorsed the 10% rules. rule. If a person uses less than 10% of the total work or one chapter of a book, if the book has 10, ch 10 chapters or more, then it, is fair, then it is a fair use. This rule has been criticized and should, be not, should not be relied upon in determining whether a use will be considered fair use. If the heart or essence of work is used, not work, it may not be de deemed fair use, regardless of the percentage of the work that has been work that was used. While earlier court decisions focused on how much of the work was copied, didn't copy, more recent decisions have focused on how much of the work has been made available to the public. All of it. Copying the entirety of a work can be justified as fair use when it is reason reasonably appropriate to achieve, achieve a transformative use and does not offer a competing substitute for the original. No competing substitute there. We are not, we are not in a, you know, selling a product. Sorry, honey. Um, I it was reasonably appropriate that I had to use the whole thing as a transformative use. For example, copying an entire work in order to make it searchable may be permissible under fair use only if snippets of the work is capable of being viewed in the search results. In other circumstances, copying and disseminating an entire work is likely not going to be found a fair use. Well, wasn't work. Wasn't work. Factor four, the effect of the use on the potential market. Factor four is typically seen as the most important factor. This factor focuses on the impact of the use on the traditional market for the work. There was no market. There is no work, no impact. This factor asks whether the use competes with or takes sales away from the copyright holder. Nope. Or avoids, or avoids payment of a royalty in an, establ in an established market. Nope. If many copies of the work are widely distributed, for example, the work is used in multiple sections of a course or is distributed to the general public, it is more likely that the use will be found, the use will be found not to be a fair use. Didn't do anything, didn't, didn't do any of that. If the use of, of a work appeals to the same audience as the original work, it is le less likely the use will be seen as a fair use. Completely different audiences. Even if a fair use 
even if a use is a fair use for one semester, this is now called it, but I'll keep reading it. Repeated use of copyrighted materials, didn't repeated use, semester over semester may not be considered a fair use because there is enough time to seek a license from the copyright holder to use the work. So there's your Sussex Squad with their bullying of just bullying of anybody that uh, criticizes Meghan Markle. Bullying because they, I would hope that they feel embarrassed and people made fun of them. Bullying and harassing somebody that they've been after. Bullying and harassing someone with a mental health condition. Taunting them about their mental health condition, which she has been doing on Twitter today. So, that's Meghan Markle's Sussex Squad Police Eye Unit, Bulliers. So, do what you need to do. I don't care. File a lawsuit. I don't care because I will win. If you get rid of my YouTube channel, I don't fucking care either. There are plenty of other streaming services and I will continue to do what I do. So, if you like my, please, I look forward to your comments on this. If you like my, ch uh, I'm sure not, no, people aren't surprised. If you like my channel, please subscribe, hit the like and notification button, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, hope everybody learned something about fair use here today. Like I said, uh, share the video, looking forward to your comments. Auf Wiedersehen!